students to my channel mathematics made easy this is ms ruchika welcoming you to part 4 of grade 10 elite math exam coverage in today's video we are going to be covering for chapter number 1 or chapter number 7 matrices and determinants and linear equations all the important questions which will help you for your exam so these are the questions taken from pages 23 to 58 we are going to start with matrices move on to linear programming from there we'll move to cramer's rule we'll evaluate determinants and find the inverse so this video make sure you watch towards the end it is going to be a long video but very very important and covering the complete chapter 1 and chapter 7 concepts which will come for your exam so stay glued and before we start the video a humble kind reminder to all of you to subscribe to the channel if you're watching the videos if you're liking my content and make sure you press the bell icon so that you don't miss any upcoming videos so let's dive into the video and see what we are learning today so let's start with the first and the most easy questions so state the dimensions of the matrix given below so when we talk about dimensions we need to say the row multiplied with the column so how many rows let's write here we have r1 R2, R3, three rows. C1, C2, C3, C4. Remember, rows are horizontal like this, going from left to right, and columns are vertical, going from up to down. So therefore, there are three rows and four columns. So the dimensions will be. For this question, three cross four or three multiplied with four. So C is the answer. Now, what is the entry at B two three? B two three means second row. The first element denotes the row. The second element column. So third column. So second row means R one, R two, R three. Second row. C1, C2, C3, C4, third column. So second row, third column. Element is four. So B is the answer. So B23 element here in this question refers to element at the second row, third column, which is four. Answer. Next question again is very very simple. You need to state the dimension. So you need to say row multiplied by column. How much? So two rows, three columns. So this is two cross three. Three rows, one column. So this is three cross one. I hope you can understand R one, R two, R three, but only one column. So such a column, uh, such a matrix is called column matrix, which does not have any more. columns just one column then 1 2 3 4 r1 r2 r3 r4 c1 c2 c3 so 4 cross 3 again 3 cross 3 this is a square matrix row of column and row of uh, number of rows and number of columns are same so it is a square matrix then 1 2 2 rows 1 2 3 4 5 so 2 cross 5 One, two, three, one, two, so three cross two. These are the dimensions of each matrix. Now, provide an example of each of the following. So you have to give one row. Means it will have only one row. So any number of column is okay. Let's write some elements: five, ten, fifteen. So it just has one row but three columns. So that's a row matrix. Now there is no specific answer for question nine. You can have more than one answer. So I'm just giving you a sample answer here. Now column matrix. I've already told you this is a column matrix. So that can be an example. Square matrix. again i've already told you 4 cross 4 here means 4 rows 4 columns so r1 r2 r3 r4 c1 c2 c3 c4 that would close the bracket so any numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 2 4 6 8 9 2 3 4 so i have written four rows four columns so this is a four cross four matrix having 16 elements now again for question 17 to 22 you have to find the order triple xy or xyz here you are going to use the concept of equal matrices so if two matrices are equal you see the equal to sign means the element at the same position is equal so 4x 
will be equal to 12. So your x is 3 here. 3y equal to negative 1. So your y is negative 1 over 3 here. That's the solution. So your x comma y is 3 comma minus 1 by 3. Let's do next one. 2x is 5. So x is 5 by 2. You can write in decimal also 2.5. 3 is equal to 3y. So y is 1. Then 3z is equal to 9. So z is 3. So here the order triple is x, y, z. So 2.5, 1 and 3. That's your answer. Let's do one more. This one. And then we'll do this one also. So this element is equal to this. Means 4x minus 3 is 9. 7 is already 7. We don't get anything from there. 3y is minus 12. So y is minus 5. One variable is solved. From here you may solve for x. Take 3 to the other side. 12. So x is 3. Now for z you use this point. So 13 is equal to 2z plus 1. So 2z is 12 or z is 6. So from there you get x, y, z for the question 22 as 3 minus 5 and 6. Let's do the last one, this one. So 2x plus y is 5 and x minus 3y. So x minus 3y is 13. Now in order to solve this we can use elimination. So here you multiply this whole equation second one by 2. So it becomes 3 2 are 6. I am just replacing here because I have less space and then you just subtract the 2. So when you subtract this cancels sign changes this becomes 7y is equal to 5 minus 26 which is minus 21 so y is minus 21 over 7 or minus 3 so x is equal to 3y plus 13 put the value and solve the equation so 13 minus 9 that is 4 so what is the solution set here? Let's highlight y is minus 3, x is 4. So x comma y, the ordered pair gives you 4 comma minus 3. Answer for 21. Okay, so now for Kramer's rule, we are going to do some questions. And before we go on to those questions, I would advise you to refer to Kramer's rule part 4 video. Uh, the link I have put in the description box. Uh, this was made around uh, two weeks back. So it showed you on solving a 3 cross 3 system of uh, equations using Kramer's rule. So refer to this video. I have explained nicely Kramer's rule here and it will really be helpful for you for revising Kramer's rule. Do watch the video till the end and it's a must watch video for all students. So these are the questions uh, from Kramer's rule in your end of term coverage. We are going to be solving question 18 and 19. Similarly, remaining questions you will solve. I, I will give you the answer key for all these questions so that you can check your answer. Try them in their notebook, solve them step by step and check your answer. So for Kramer's rule, you have to learn the formula. And as you see in the video link, which I have shown for you for Kramer's rule, x is for, uh, found by this um, you know a value which is determinant of this divided by this determinant of this divided by this is y in determinant of this divided by this is z so here a b c refer to the uh, coefficients of x uh, similarly your d e f refer to the coefficients here and so on the coefficients on the right are your um, also found by using these values so just substitute the values divide them simplify the determinant do watch the video in which i have shown you how to evaluate three cross three determinant solve the value use a calculator to evaluate the determinant and your x value comes out to be two divided by nine y value comes out to be negative four divided by three and z value comes out to be negative one comma three so the ordered pair x y z represents your solution set which is given by this.
So please watch the Kramer's Rule video where I've shown in detail how to learn the formula and how to use it to solve such questions. Also, in your end of term coverage, these questions 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 and 25 are also given. So, I will provide you with answer key in a similar way. You will solve Kramer's rule using uh, the video and using the formula that you saw in the previous slide. So this is the answer key for some of the questions. So question 19, the answer for x, y, z is this. So the x value would be 66 over 7. The y value would be negative 116 over 7. The z value would be negative 41 over 7. Similarly, for 21, x value is negative 4, y value is negative 2, z value is 8. For question 23, x value is negative 1, y value is negative 3, z value is 7. And for 25, x value is 4, y value is 0 and z value is 8. So this is the answer key. I hope you are getting the same answers. Do refer to the Kramer's rule video which I have shared with you so that you understand how these questions are solved. Next, we move to the questions where we have to check or determine whether the matrices are inverse or not. So from your math book, the questions 1, 2, 3 and 4 are taken in end of term coverage. Again, I had made a video specifically on this topic. So refer to the link. I will put it in the description box and also refer to um, this video. I have put the screenshot on inverse of a matrix 6. It was put in my channel two weeks back. So watch the video so that you get to know how to answer these questions. So if you have seen the videos carefully, you will know that A and B will be matrices, will be inverse if A multiplied with B is the identity matrix, which is 1, 1, 0, 0. So let's check that. Here the answer would come out to be no. So we multiply A with B. I hope you have seen my video on multiplication rule. I am going to quickly repeat for you how to multiply 2 cross 2 matrix. So here you take first element with this one, this one with this one. So first row of the first matrix get multiplied with first column here. So 2 multiplied with 1 plus 1 multiplied with 2. Similarly, for this one, this row will be multiplied with this column. 2 with 2 plus 1 with 1. Negative 1 with 1 plus 0 with 2. And negative 1 with 2 plus 0 with 1. So how much is this matrix? It comes out to be 2 plus 2, 4. Here it is 0, so negative 1. Here it is 4 plus 1, 5. Here it is negative 2. So it is not coming as identity matrix, which is this. So they cannot be inverse. So answer is no. Let's do one question where answer is yes. So this is answer 3. Here you have the matrix minus 1, 0, 1, comma, minus 1 given. And the other matrix is also given as this. So multiply them. What is the result? Negative 1 with negative 1 will give you positive 1. This with 0 will give you 0, so only this. Negative 1 with negative 1 would give you 1. This with this would give you minus 1. Then 1 with this is 0. This with this is 0. 0 with this is 0. Negative 1 with this is 1. So the matrix you are getting is 1, 1, 0, 0, which is identity. So yes. Now you can also multiply the other way. This was F multiplied with G. You also do G multiplied with F and that will also come as identity. So both are equal to identity. So yes, by definition, A, uh, G and F are inverse matrices. So in this case, answer is yes. These two cases also you check, it will come out to be no. So that's your answer key for question 1 to 4. In a similar way, you can check for these questions, whether they are inverse or not. You will use the same logic. Let me do one question here for you, this one. So answer 16 and then I will give you answer key for the remaining question. So we are multiplying R with S. So first I write R matrix like this. And then I write and multiply S matrix to 4, 4. So let's multiply. So first we are going to multiply. Let me change color. This row with this column. See this is R1, R2, 
uh, you can write c1 c2 okay so four elements are going to come here the first element will be 1 by 2 2 uh, minus 1 by 4 4 then next one would be first row second column so 1 by 2 times 4 minus 1 by 4 times 2 then second row first column so 1 by 4 times 2 minus 1 by 2 times 4 and then second row second column so 1 by 4 times 4 minus 1 by 2 times 2 do refer to my video on matrix multiplication if you feel confused with this i will again put the link in description box so this is 1 minus 1 this is also 1 minus 1 this is 1 by 2 minus this is let's do it 2 by 4 minus 4 by 2 and this one is 4 by 2 minus 2 by 4 so if you see this element is 0 0 and this element here comes out to be 1 by 2 minus 2 here also 2 minus 1 by 2 so this is not equal to identity so if it is not equal to identity r and s cannot be inverse matrices similarly you check for 13 14 15 and let's check answer key so if you check the answer key for all the parts 13 14 15 16 no they are not inverse so all of them are not inverse of each other the end of end of term coverage part 4 which was on the lesson of matrices and determinants next coming up is part 5 which will be on conic sections so stay glued to the channel make sure you share this video with all your friends who are giving exam give the video a thumbs up if you found it useful and press the bell icon not to miss the upcoming part 5 of conic sections end of term coverage till then this is Ms. Ruchika signing off from this today's session see you in my next video bye students